It's hands down the best iPhone ever, but is it the iPhone X the smartphone of the future? That's the million dollar question, or, considering the $1,000 starting price and the number of phones Apple is likely to sell, let's call it the trillion dollar question. The iPhone X, pronounced 10, not X, was announced Tuesday in Apple's new Steve Jobs Theater at the company's revamped, $2.5 billion Apple Park campus, and it's the premium flagship in Apple's lineup. With a bold new design and a myriad of new features sure to impress everyone from casual owners to tech enthusiasts, it's bound for success. So let's get the big question right out of the way, yes, lots of people are going to buy this, and yes, they're going to be very happy with this phone. That said, supplies of the iPhone X will reportedly be very limited when the device comes out later this fall, and it will be difficult for fans to get. Early adopters and those dying for a new iPhone will likely be forced to consider the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus instead and based on preliminary reviews that are starting to emerge, they'll be satisfied. The iPhone 8 is nifty, but looks almost exactly like earlier phones from the Cupertino company, and improves on the software and tech packed into the phone in only marginal ways. Fans looking for something groundbreaking, something wild and new from their next iPhone, will want to wait for the X. Indeed, analysts are already saying that the iPhone X is hurting iPhone 8 pre-orders. But here's another trillion dollar question fans may be asking themselves, will it be worth the wait? Let's find out. Beautiful all glass design. In my brief hands on time with the phone, I was struck first by how substantial it is. The iPhone X is not heavy, but it's definitely more phone than the Galaxy S8 and iPhone 7 I brought for comparison. It feels great in the hand, too, it's slim, efficiently designed, beautiful to look at and hold. Gone is the slippery aluminum back that many have complained about. In its place is an all-glass back. Now you can drop your phone and shatter it on both sides. Complainers gotta have something to whine about, right? But forget the build. Think about the display, a 5.8-inch OLED screen with deep, inky blacks and colors so vibrant it looks like someone spilled paint all over the phone. I don't usually gush about icons, but I could stare at these for hours. The absence of the home button is something long-time iPhone owners may complain about, but it allows for a clean slate interface. Swipe up to access the home screen, and pull down from the top to get to the control center, which used to be accessible from the bottoms up swipe. Swiping left gets to the notification center, or maybe it was pulling down one of the ears around the cutout at the top of the phone. Pulling in from the right gets to the camera, or did I just click the camera icon?